Yes. I have this little shiny spot on the left side of my space key on my keyboard at work. And I have a similar shiny spot on my keyboard at home. The laptop that I use at work has the same shiny spot in the same place. In fact, for years, every keyboard that I have used develops a shiny spot on the left side of the space key. Now, why do you suppose that is? When I began working on my ministry degree, I didn't type very fast. I was working full time and going to school. One thing I figured out early on was that if I could type faster, I could get more sleep. Instead of staying up till two o'clock in the morning, I might go to bed at one o'clock. It's pretty simple math, really. So I began to push myself to type faster every time I was at the computer. My typing method is nothing close to what is considered correct, but I can now type in the 50 to 60 words per minute range. One thing that happened early on in my quest for speed was that I would often go for the space key with both thumbs. This resulted in frequent random double spacing, so I broke myself by using my right thumb on the space key altogether. This has resulted in the shiny spot on the left side of the space bar. Repetition during typing, possibly combined with my rough hands, has made a change in the plastic surface on my space key. The other keys on my keyboard show some use, but none of them has that specific shiny spot. Any professional athlete will attest that repetition is one of the keys to their success. Golfers, basketball players, soccer players, and NASCAR drivers all include elements of repetition in their process. It's that repetition that kicks in when the pressure is on that wins ball games and races. I'm getting closer to my point so thanks for sticking with me so far. So in a life of faith, there are repetitions that can actually be very healthy. Most of us tend to want to avoid repetition since we can often equate repeated faith acts to religion and not relationship with Jesus. But let's face it, even relationships have repetition. Every day I hug my wife, every day I pet our dog, every day as long as they'll let me I hug my boys. These things are patterns. So it's interesting that many of us avoid repetition in a relationship with Jesus. Prayer can become repetitive, it, reading the Bible can become repetitive. Even going to the same church every Sunday morning can become repetitive. But there is a point to it, all of it. My space key is forever changed by my repetitive action. I can get a new keyboard and within a couple months, I will have another shiny spot. In the same way, prayer, reading the Bible, attending worship services repetitively can make an impression on our spirit. Our spirit is impressionable and alterable. If that spirit is impressed in a less than positive way through repetitive negativity, the resulting output will mirror that input. This is why Paul or St. Paul for my Catholic friends reminds us to pray without ceasing in 1 Thessalonians. It's why we are challenged to meet together regularly in Hebrews 10. It's why the things that can seem repetitive are actually a good thing. So two questions to ask yourself. What repetitive input have I given my spirit? And what repetitive output am I giving those around me? That, my friends, is your faith element to consider. Thanks for watching.